Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, what's going on? Mesa Fail, Table Sean, back at it with some destiny. All right, Zer is located over by the Crucible Quartermaster. Actually, I got a package to grab from Shax afterwards because I've been racing my ass off, and you do get Crucible, Crucible reputation every time you race. All right, so for year two, he's got the Radiant Dance Machines, Radiance Dance Pants. I think that's what Mrs. 5000 Watts calls them. I don't know. I'm battling. Helm of Inmost Light. We got Intellect and Strength, 50-51. Gain Death from Above and Headstrong, so that's going to be for your Strikers. Let's see what other perks we got here. Hands-on, so gain bonus super energy from melee kills and minions. We got uh, Heavy Lifting, gain bonus super energy on heavy weapon kills. And we got Invigoration, gain bonus melee energy on orb pickup. Um, I don't really find this useful. I mean, I like the Takenot and the Helm of Inmost Light and uh, Armamentarium. Yeah, those are pretty much the three exotics I rock for my Titan. Okay, Radiance, Radiant Dance Machines. All right, Intellect, you know, that's why I say Dance, because I'm going to hate my New York accent. Dance, Radiant Dance Machines. Intellect and Strength, so you move, move more quickly while aiming. And uh, it's got a few more, it's got actually, all right, this is, the, this is the year two version. So we got Intellect and Strength. Now you can choose from either Sniper Rifle Ammo or Heavy Machine Gun Ammo. And here's where it differs for um, year two is that you got Arc Double Down, Solar Double Down, or Void Double Down. So basically, you could use this with all three subclasses. Uh, I'm not buying them because I actually just got them already, which will be in my Engram opening pizza party. Uh, these are pretty cool. I, I really haven't used them or in a very long time. Uh, you know my aim sucks as is, and I play on a low sensitivity, and I find that the moving quickly and the strafing throws me off a little bit. But let me know in the comment section. Do you guys really like these for PvP? Uh, let's see, we got nothing manacles. Those are pretty good for the warlock for the void walker because you get an additional scatter grenade and you get tracking on it. So it can be pretty deadly in the um Crucible. I gotta stop saying Crucible because I know it bugs a bunch of you guys. In the Crucible. All right, scatter charge. We already covered that. We got intellect, we got discipline, uh, energy protection, so in uh, increased grenade throw distance, momentum transfer, gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits. We got hand cannon reloader, and we got a rocket launcher reloader. That's interesting. I, I have I ever seen gloves that give you rocket launcher reloader? That's interesting. All right, then on to the Monte Carlo, year two. Now, I have not used this in a very long time. I think I might have gotten rid of mine. I might actually buy this. Well, I don't know. Is it easier for me to buy this or use the blooper? Yeah, I'd rather spend coins and marks on this thing. Uh, with the latest auto rifle buff, I, I have not tried auto rifles at all. I know there's all this debate. There's mistakes in the percentages and all that. But uh, please let me know in the comment section, are auto rifles any good in PvP right now? I'm thinking that uh, auto rifles like this... With this kind of like for the people, up for anything type of um, impact. No, I'm going back to House of Wolves here, but that's always what I compare this type of uh, rate of fire and impact. So it's not like as low as an Atheon's epilogue, but not like a Vanquisher or uh, Abyss Defiant. So the first perk is going to be hip fire, and you got uh, high caliber rounds, send it for range, and you've got field scout, which increases your ammo capacity. I believe you have smart drift control on this thing. Uh, let's, yeah, yes. Okay, so you could be ballistics, smart drift control, and you also have uh, aggressive ballistics. And Monte Carlo, dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability with each kill. I found this uh, kind of useful in PvE, especially for my Warlock, uh, where I feel Warlocks have the most powerful melee, especially Thunderstrike. So using this in PvE, taking down lots of uh, ads, uh, low, low level ads, and constantly getting your melee back could come in pretty handy. So. What else? You got a Legacy Engram. So uh, uh, remember, guys, if you didn't get No Land Beyond or any other primary from year one, you can buy this Engram, cash it in, get the year one, and then it'll appear in your exotic blueprints, and then you can go ahead and buy the year two version of it. So something to consider. Uh, Emerald Coil, we got Void Drive, we got Heavy Emma Synthesis, and we got Tree of Coins and Glass Needle. So I'll be buying a boatload of uh, Tree of Coins. You know, I've been popping them every race, and I... You know, the first race I did, I got an exotic anchor. Uh, ever since then, I've played z tons and tons of races, have not gotten any exotic anchor. So let me know also in the comment section, have you guys been having any luck with popping three of coins uh, while racing all the time? That's it, guys. Let me know what you guys are buying or what you guys wish he had. At least he's selling something. I, I, I knew they were going to throw something in uh, from this week's patch that no one else has. So that's pretty cool of them. That's it. Babble Mode's engaged. Drop a like at this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MaceSean. Check out my stream. Sometimes on YouTube, sometimes on Twitch. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.